This is the story of Edgar Allan Poe's life. More specifically, how his life ended. To start things off, Poe was born in 1809 in Boston, Massachusetts. He was left as an orphan by age three and was taken in by a family living in Richmond, Virginia. He grew up with the Allen family, yet unfortunately abandoned them due to financial issues later on in his young adulthood. After a few attempts at receiving a higher education at schools such as UVA and West Point, he moved to New York and Philadelphia to focus on his writing career. Poe finally returned to Richmond in 1836 when he married his 13-year-old cousin and even based one of his most popular literary works off of her. After a successful run as a prestiged writer, editor, and literary critic, Edgar Allan Poe died on October 7, 1849, at the age of 40. On October 3rd, Poe was found incoherent and wandering the streets in Baltimore by Joseph Walker. He was immediately taken to the Washington Medical College, but he remained in a delirious state and was unable to effectively communicate until his death at 5 a.m. four days later. On September 27th, almost a week earlier, Poe had left Richmond, Virginia on his way to Philadelphia to edit a collection of poems for another esteemed poet. When Walker found Poe in a delirious disarray outside of a polling place, it was the first anyone had heard or seen of the poet since his departure from Richmond. Poe never made it to Philadelphia to attend his editing business. Poe also never returned to New York, where he had been living, to take his aunt back to Richmond for his upcoming wedding. However, Poe actually never left Baltimore, where he launched his career in the early 19th century, and in the four days between Walker finding Poe and Poe's death on October 7th, he never regained enough consciousness to explain how he had come to be found, in soiled clothes that were not his, and incoherent in the streets. Instead, Poe spent his final days between fits of delirium and suffering from visual hallucinations. There are multiple explanations for Poe's death, however, no scientists or historians can agree. Newspapers reported that Poe died of brain congestion or cerebral inflammation, which were terms used at the time that actually meant someone drank themselves to death. Some other popular theories pertaining to his death include heart disease, delirium tremens, epilepsy, syphilis, meningitis, cholera, and rabies. There is a written record found in 1996 of an anonymous patient given the initials EP and a brief description of being a writer from Richmond. The symptoms the patient succumbed to were clear. EP had rabies. The patient had originally been admitted to the hospital for lethargy and confusion, and once committed, more symptoms such as delirium, visual hallucinations, uneven pulse rates, and shallow breathing came. Within four days, which happens to be the average length of survival after the onset of serious rabies symptoms, EP was dead. EP, doctors soon found out, wasn't just any author from Richmond. It was Poe whose death the Maryland cardiologist had diagnosed as a clear case of rabies, a fairly common virus in the 19th century. Unfortunately, without DNA evidence, it's not possible to directly ink EP to Poe. There are a few facts which disprove this too. Poe was drinking water while at the hospital, while a key symptom to rabies is hydrophobia. There was also no evidence of an animal bite. Carbon monoxide poisoning is also a plausible theory given by a public health researcher in 1999. Albert Donne argued that Poe's death was a result of carbon monoxide poisoning produced by coal gas that was used for indoor lighting during the 19th century. Poe's body was even exhumed so scientists could test this theory, and his hair was tested for certain heavy metals that would be present if coal gas was used around him. The test never came out conclusive, which led historians to discredit this theory. However, the most popular theory is that Poe was a victim of cooping, a form of electoral fraud that was present in the United States at this time. Cooping is the process of taking unwilling participants and forcing them to vote multiple times for a singular candidate in an election. The victims would quite literally be taken by a cooping gang, forced to drink amounts of alcohol to make them compliant, and if they refused to listen, it would often result in the victim's death. Poe was also found just one day after an election, and again, not in his own clothes. Days after Poe's death, Rufus Griswold, commonly known as Poe's literary rival, wrote a deceiving obituary portraying Poe as an alcoholic who took advantage of young women. It was not a difficult story for the public to believe, and in fact, widely accepted. The theory which I agree with the most is that Poe died of rabies, however, multiple factors could have contributed to his passing. 
Unfortunately, the true case and explanation of Poe's death still remains a mystery and is one of the most famous unsolved deaths in history.